Behind me, community members joined hands to pray for the families of over the Rhine shooting victims. They also prayed to stop future violence in that area. While police say crime in OTR is actually down overall from previous years, the latest shootings are a concern. Not on your sides, Paula Suro spoke with police who say they are doing something about this. Paula. Yeah, well, Kristen, they're doing something for these reasons, one of them being right here behind me. This is just one of three memorials along Grant Park. Another one for a 14 year old boy is just down the road. I mean, all of these are just about a block within, uh, you know, one another. I can see more in this direction, and that's really what's concerning police, and that's why they're doing something here and focusing their efforts in this area, especially in the early morning hours to stop homicides from happening. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen. It's more than just a prayer walk. Those who will witness us and see us, that hearts will be changed. It's a call to action from families of fatal shootings here and over the Rhine. Senseless. All of these is like senseless acts. That cycle just needs to be broken. It's sad. To community members who say one shooting is one too many. My heart is heavy for the families who are losing their loved ones is, uh, due to senseless gun violence. Residents are scared. I mean, they're, they're scared if they call the police that they're going to be the next victim. So they just lock their doors and stay inside. They're human beings. That's right. And we've got to step our game up across the board. And also police. The consensus is. It's just not acceptable. And it's not indicative of what OTR has become and what OTR wants to continue to become. That's why Cincinnati police moved resources around and put its mountain bike squad on the streets in the early morning hours, hours when these shootings have been taking place. Think we've made uh, seven or eight arrests, five guns, and that was all within that 36 to 48 hour window when we kind of gave an all hands on deck approach uh, to stabilize OTR. That's okay. While the recent string of shootings has become a concern for police and community members, the Grand Park Block Watch says things have improved. <laughs> If you'd have come back here last year, you would have seen a lot of drug dealers hanging out. You would have seen a lot of trash on the street every single day. Uh, you're not seeing that as much anymore. But they want to keep seeing progress and improvement so that no one else has to lose their life and no other family has to suffer. I'm going to miss him. I love him. I told him that. Now, police also tell me that community members can expect to see an elevated police presence, especially here, as I mentioned, during the early morning hours. And actually, when we got here about two hours ago, we did see police officers installing portable light poles. Now we're live and over the Rhine. I'm Paolo Suro, 9 on your side.